This is the IntelliGel Quad VCA. A VCA is a voltage-controlled amplifier, meaning that the voltage level of a control signal is used to control the amplitude or volume level of a second signal. The Quad VCA is laid out with the CV inputs and controls for each channel laid out top to bottom, and the inputs and outputs laid out left to right. For each channel you have a CV input with attenuator, a boost switch that raises the level of the input signal by 6 dB. You have a curve knob to sweep between exponential and linear responses, and you have a level control. And then you have your signal input and output for each channel. The Quad VCA has a cascading architecture, meaning that the CV inputs are fed from one to the next and the audio outputs are also fed from one to the next channel. This allows you to use a single CV signal to control all four channels, as well as mix four signals into one output. Connecting CV inputs will break the normaling from one channel to another. So for example, if I have an input on channels one and two, channel one will receive the input on channel one, and channel two, three, and four will receive the input from channel two. The normaling is also broken by connecting the output jacks. So first what I'm going to do is take the sine wave output of a Dixie and plug that into the input of the first channel on my VCA. And I'm going to connect output 4. So because of the cascading architecture of the quad VCA, anything plugged into the four inputs will go out of output 4 as long as there's no other output connected. So I'll plug that into my main output and bring the volume up. And now, if I raise the level here, I can bring the signal up to unity by bringing the level control all the way up. So now, let's take a triangle wave LFO from a second Dixie and plug that into our CV input for channel 1 here. So now as I bring up this attenuator, you're going to hear that oscillator coming in and out, and you'll notice this LED lighting green and red. So, an LFO is a bipolar signal and the LED shows green when it's positive, red when it's negative, and we're just hearing the positive portion of that LFO. But we can offset that using the level control. So now with the level up, the LFO is raising and lowering the volume, and we can control the amount with this knob. And we can control the rate. A 5 volt CV signal will bring up the signal level to unity. So if you're using an 8 volt envelope or LFO, you'll need to reduce the CV input amount. So the boost switch adds a 6 dB boost to the input signal level. And we can chain channels together to add some nice distortion. So so now I'm feeding channel 1 into channel 2. If I bring up that boost switch, you can hear some distortion being added to that sine wave. Now let's use an LFO from Quadra to explore the curve knob here. So I'm going to plug that in. So we have another triangular LFO controlling the quad VCA and right now it's set fully linear. The Quadra gives us the option of switching to exponential as well. You can hear a bit more of a curved response. Let's go back to linear. Let's bring in a bit of exponential response. Go back linear, and let's bring in even more exponential response. And let's go back to exponential here. And back to linear. Generally, you'll probably want to leave it linear 
all or most of the time because that responds fine to exponential and linear CV inputs. If you bring in more of the exponential response, you deviate away from that one-to-one -one relationship on input and get more curved responses. And if you go all the way exponential, you get uh, very curved, very spiky responses. If I do want to br bring in more of a curved response, a little bit goes a long way, and 3 o'clock usually is as far as I want to go. This also affects the level control. If we're set to linear, and I bring this up, you can hear the oscillator comes in pretty quickly, whereas if I set this to exponential, it's not until the last quarter of the knob that you start hearing that oscillator. So this may be beneficial if you're using the quad VCA as a mixer. So VCAs can also be used to control CV signals. So for example, if I take the triangle output of that Dixie that we were using earlier and plug that into input one and take the output of channel one and send that to the FM1 input on my Dixie. So I can bring up my oscillator on channel four and, and I can now use channel one to control the amount of LFO being sent to the frequency modulation. And so of course I can also use an LFO to modulate the amount of that LFO being sent to modulate frequency. So if I bring that up and I bring up our CV amount here, and I can offset that uh, amount here. And because this input cascades to all the other inputs, I can also use that to control the volume of the oscillator. And because I'm using the output of channel one, it's not being sent to my main mix. So now things get a bit more interesting. One advantage of having four VCAs in a tight little package is the ability to easily set up effect sends and returns. So right now I have a sequence from Metropolis controlling this Dixie and the pulse wave output of the Dixie is coming in on channel one and out from channel one to be split and sent to channels four and two. So if I bring up channel four, we can hear that sequence, and on channel two, the output of that channel is being sent to spring ray, and the output of spring ray is being sent to channel three here. So we can treat channel two as our send, and channel three as our return. So I can bring up the amount of spring ray by bringing up this uh, third level control. And so we have one envelope from the dual ADSR controlling the amplitude of the uh, pulse wave sequence, and then we have an envelope from Quadra being triggered by the Metropolis sync, and that is controlling the send level being sent to spring ray. So we can play with the shape of that uh, envelope to change the way that it sends out to spring ray. So I hope you found this video useful for using not just the quad VCA, but VCAs in general. And of course, we'd love to see how you use VCAs in your system. So please feel free to tag us in your videos and pictures on YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and so on. Thanks for watching.